Welcome to Unpacking the Pages. This podcast is a collaboration with Baxter County Library. My name is Nancy Lee, and I enjoy reading, listening to audiobooks, and writing. I learn so much from books and want to share and discuss books with you. I know some people are extremely busy and don't have the luxury or time to read, but still want to learn. Today we are discussing The Last Thing He Told Me by author Laura Day. Laura is a romance, mystery, and general fiction writer. This book was the number one book checked out of Baxter County Library in 2022. We are not the only ones experiencing this book. It became an instant number one on the New York Times and spent 65 weeks on the bestseller list. It is also a limited series on Apple TV. So let's get to it. The last thing he told me is a suspenseful novel about a wife desperately, along with her stepdaughter, wanting to know the truth about their husband and father's disappearance. During an embezzlement investigation at his work, his company received fraud charges. Michael Owens then mysteriously vanishes. Charged with fraud, he leaves his wife Hannah a note, and it only says, protect her. Hannah knows that means to help his daughter. Up to this point, wife Hannah and stepdaughter Bailey have had a very strained relationship. Bailey, a teenager, is having trouble accepting Hannah, her dad's new wife. It has been Bailey and her dad, Owen, the two of them together as a team for many years. Bailey's died in an auto accident when she was only four years old. Hannah reaches out to Bailey constantly because she lost her mother when she was very young also. In the book, The Last Thing He Told Me, Hannah's life starts to unravel quickly when she discovers Owen has never really revealed his true past. Hannah and her stepdaughter Bailey travel to Austin, Texas to uncover the mysterious past of Owen and Bailey. During this trip, Bailey starts to have flashbacks of being called Kristen when she was a young girl. Together, Hannah and Bailey learn that her father's name used to be Ethan. He used to testify against his corrupt father-in-law, and after that big scandal, he decided to change his identity. Years earlier, he did not join a formal witness protection program, and he changed his and his daughter's names and started a new life together. During this new life, he meets Hannah. He falls in love with this 40-year-old single, motherless woman who is a successful woodturner and furniture maker. And interestingly enough, She lost her mother when she was very young also. Here's a question to ponder. When I was reading this book, I kept thinking, was Owen picking a new mother for Bailey, a wife for himself, or both? Owen never exposes his true past, and yet there seems to be real love and romance here. We have all read and heard stories of men leading double lives. Are those relationships fake or a scam, or can they really have a real element of love to them? It's all question when reading this book, how well do we know the people we love? Hannah and Bailey create and develop a beautiful relationship over the most difficult of times. The bonding they share of both losing mothers at a young age. They discover the past of their father and their husband, and they learn to trust each other. I'm so glad Bailey is able to move on into a healthy life 
after losing a mother to death at the age of four and then losing her rock of a father in as her teenager's years progressed. The author had this story percolating in her mind for 20 years. It was 2001 with the collapse of Enron that she heard an interview with the wife of one of the Enron executives. Laura said, I was fascinated by the idea of a woman who found herself in a situation where the world was telling her her husband was someone and she believed him to be someone else. Laura spun that idea into publishing gold. She created a novel of someone searching for community and also someone that needed to hide. In The Last Thing He Told Me, patience and perseverance has always been with our author. In her 20s, while in a coffee shop, she was finishing a novel when she spilled water all over her computer and lost the entire thing. Her father then asked, now what? She said, I'm going to start again. She solidified in her mind that day and in her heart, she was a writer. She felt she had no other possibilities but writing. When she starts to write a novel, she starts with a question. The question she started with for the last thing he told me was, can you know the person you love most? Well, let's think about this. Just like life, love is constantly moving into knowing. Know and re-know them as they change and evolve. This book is a bonding experience of wife and stepdaughter putting the pieces together of the past and all the while wondering how well they actually knew the man they loved. I found an interview with Jennifer Garner who plays the role of Hannah on the Apple TV series. She says the meeting of the minds she has with Laura Dane doesn't end here. I bet there'll be a sequel. We all need to keep our eyes open for Laura Dave's upcoming novels. And for all of the writers that are listening, remember this story and remember this idea was ruminating in the author's mind for 20 years. It is never too late to write and tell your or any story. Remember to keep reading, writing, and support your Baxter County Library. Your support donations allow us to have special programs, upgraded technology, and for the continuation of learning. If you have questions or comments, you can reach the library at 870-508-0987. Or you can reach me at asknancylee at gmail.com. Our next time together will be a nonfiction book, What Happened to You by Dr. Perry. See you next time on Unpacking the Pages.